Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Native English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, all the questions which you will be having related to the NEET 2024 examination, be it the syllabus, eligibility criteria, the number of college, the seats, the quota, etc, etc. I'll be addressing all the things in this particular session. And I'm not going to take more than like 10 minutes, right? So I'll be addressing all the issues, all the things, all the small, small questions that related to the NEET examination in this particular video. Mainly, my dear students, I'll be talking about syllabus reduction, right? Eligibility criteria, exam pattern, and expected cutoff. These are the four important things which I shall be discussing in this particular session, right? My dear students, starting with exam information. Well, as you all must be knowing, your NEET 2024 examination, it will be conducted by your NTA, the official website I have mentioned over here, right? And the exam, it is basically the all India level examination where students from across the country, they participate in the examination, you know it. And we call this as the undergraduate program, NEET UG exam, you call it. And my dear students, this particular exam, it is accepted by all the medical and dental colleges across the country. So this is the general information about your NEET examination, perfect. Apart from all this information, there are a few more things which you need to know. Well, the mode of examination, you all must be familiar with the fact it is an offline exam basically, right? Maximum score is 720, right? This neat examination, it happens once in a year and it is conducted in different languages as you can see. English, Hindi, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Malayalam, Kannada, Marathi, Odia and Urdu. So these are the different languages in which you can attempt your NEET examination. Perfect. Now, at the same time, there are a few more important things. My dear students, the NEET 24 participating colleges. Well, let me tell you, there are in total 16, 695 medical colleges, right? And there are 318 dental colleges. There are 20 AIMS, 2 Jipmer colleges, 914 Ayush colleges, and 47 BVSC and Animal Husbandry College. These are the number of colleges through which, I mean, in which you can get your admission through the NEET 2024 examination, right? Out of which 695 for the medical college, 318 dental college, etc., etc., which are mentioned over here. Well, apart from that, talking about few more important things. That is eligibility criteria. A lot of students have got confusion in the eligibility criteria. My dear students, all the, stu all the students from the country India, from your country, from our country, right? They can absolutely write this particular examination. Even NRIs, PIOs, OCIs, they can apply into this particular examination. Now you must be thinking how many attempts you can give in the NEET examination. There is no limit for that, my dear students. You can give four attempts, five attempts, six attempts, seven attempts, etc., etc. But don't do that. Just clear it in one go or maximum two go, right? Okay, talking about the age criteria. When you talk about the age criteria, so basically, this was something which was I mean, this was notification which came out like few months back. So if you are going to write the NEET 2024 examination, my dear students, till 31st December 24, till 31st December 24, you should be, your age should be 17 or more than that, right? A lot of students have got confusion in this particular one. They think that they should be 17 or more till, seven, till 31st December 2023, but that's not the case. It is. 31st December of the year in which you are getting into the medical college basically, in which you are writing the NEET examination. So till 31st December 24, you should be, your age should be 17 years or even more than that, right? This is the eligibility criteria for your NEET 2024. Well, a lot of you must be thinking how many marks are required to sit in the NEET examination in your class 12th, right? So my dear students, marks required in PCB, 12th class, uh, unreserved category, you should have 50% marks in your class 12 syllabus of your physics, chemistry, biology, right? OBC, SC, ST, 40% of the marks in class 12th, and PWD category, you should have 45% marks in your class 12th category, right? What are the compulsory subjects which you should have in class 12? This is one more question, right? It includes physics, chemistry, biology and English. These are the compulsory subjects which you should be having in your class 12th, right? So you should be clearing these subjects, then only you are eligible, my dear students, in your NEET 2024 examination. 
And do remember the marks, the percentage, the percentage which you should get in your class 12 as far as physics, chemistry, biology subjects are concerned. Unreserved 50%, more than that, OBC, more than 40%, greater or equal to 40%, PWD, you should have 45% greater or equal, right? So this was one more important point in which majority of the students were facing the issue, right? My dear students talking about the number of seats. So in total, in total, you have got 1 lakh 6,033 seats, right? Sorry, 1 lakh 6,333 seats you have got in total. Perfect. And out of these 1 lakh 6,000 seats, there are 55,468 seats in the government institutions, government medical college, you can say, right? 50,865 seats are there in private and deemed medical college. Perfect. And similarly, 2,044 seats are there in AIMS and 200 seats are there in JIPMER, right? So this is the number of seats bifurcation in different college, my dear students. So in government college, you have got 55,000 uh, seats, my dear students. Perfect. So in total, how many seats are there? There are almost like 1,6,000 seats. And just imagine how many students will be appearing into the NEET 2024 examination. It will be approximately uh, 22 lakh students, right? Approximately 22 lakh students will be appearing in the NEET 2024 examination. And how many seats are there? There are 1 lakh seats. So my dear students, that means one student out of 22 students is going to get into the medical college. Now you can understand the level of the competition. Perfect. So if you have not started your study, I mean, if you have not started your preparation yet, or if your preparation is not up to the mark, let me tell you, you have got still seven to eight months, my dear students, and seven to eight months are enough to crack this particular examination if you are starting from zero also, right? Well, talking about few more things, talking about few more things. The other courses which you can opt through NEET examination. Through NEET examination, you can get into other courses too, right? That's completely your choice. You can get into BDS, in which there are some 27,948 seats. You can get into Ayurvedic, right? There are approximately 52,000 seats in the Ayurvedic, right? Ayurvedic college. BVSC and Animal Husbandry, there are almost 603 seats, my dear students. Perfect. So this is another thing which I would want, which I wanted to share with all of you. Now talking about the seat metrics, right? Seat metrics. You must be knowing all India quota in NEET UG examination is 15% and state quota is 85%. State quota is 85%. Now what is this all India quota 15% and state quota 85%? For example, if I select the state Delhi, my dear students, if I select this particular state, Delhi, let's assume in Delhi, in total there are, for example, 1000 seats. For example, in total there are 1000 seats in the state of Delhi, right? Now, in Delhi, there are in total 1,000 seats. Let me tell you, out of 1,000 seats, what is 15% of 1,000? 15% 15 of 1,000 means 150 seats, and the remaining are 850 seats, right? So, I would say 150 students, 150 students, 150 seats in total, right? Out of the 1,000 seats, 150 seats will be filled by the students who are not from Delhi, basically, right? And 850 seats are reserved for the students of Delhi, my dear students. So this is what you call us. This is what you call us All India Quota. If I talk about, for example, JNK, right? Let's say in total there are some 1,000 seats, right? Out of 1,000 seats, 150 seats are allotted to the students who are not from Jammu and Kashmir, right? But 850 students will, I mean, 850 seats will be there, which are allocated to the students of JNK only, right? Same goes for every state, my dear students. You must be knowing about that. We're talking about few more important things. What about reservation? What about reservation? These are another factors too, my dear students. Well, in the AWS category, there is 10% reservation, right? SC 15%, ST 7.5% reservation, OBC 27% reservation, and similarly in your PWD, PWD, there is 5% reservation. So in total, there is 50% reservation, my dear students, right? What does it mean exactly? See, the thing which I was telling you right now, See, I told you there are 150 seats for the students who are not from, uh, there are 150 seats for the students who are not for, from Delhi. 850 seats are there for the students who are from Delhi. Now, these 150 seats will be further bifurcated into two parts. Out of 150 seats, there will be 75 seats, which will be for the unreserved category, and 75 seats will be for the reserved category, which includes OBC, SC, ST, etc. And same goes for the state quota as well. So, out of 8, 
50 seats, my dear students, 425 seats are, will be there for the, uh, for the category students, right? And 425 seats will be there for the unreserved category students who do not, who belong to the general category, right? So it's really difficult, I can see, right? From the, for the students who belong to general category, but this is what it is, right? So I hope this particular point, this all India quota and reservation part is absolutely clear to you. Let's talk about few more things. Weightage. Weightage. You know, your NEET examination, your NEET paper, it has got 20%, 25% weightage for, uh, from the subject physics, 25% for the chemistry, 25% from zoology and 25% from botany. Right? So this is the weightage of different subjects in your NEET examination, be it 2024 or even 2025. Now, my dear students, in your NEAT question paper, you get two types of questions. There'll be two sections, basically, section A and section B. For example, if I talk about physics, for example, if I talk about physics, in physics, there'll be 35 questions in section A, right? And in section B, there'll be 15 questions. And out of these 15 questions, you have, you just have to do some 10 questions. You just have to do some 10 questions out of these 15 questions, right? So that in total, it makes it 35 plus 10. So 45 questions you have to do out of the 50 questions, my dear students, when it comes to your, uh, when it comes to your physics. Same goes for your chemistry, same goes for your zoology, same goes for your botany as well. Perfect. So 35 questions from section A, all are mandatory questions and 15 questions from your section B. Out of 15, you just have to solve some 10 questions, right? Now there is one more thing. Tentative schedule, right? You must be waiting for the neat notification, etc., etc. Let me tell you, the release of NEET 2024 notification will happen in December 24. Application form process will start in the first week of March. Opening of correction window. If by chance during filling the application form, you made certain some mistake, for example, you can rectify that mistake too when the correction window will be open. And that correction window will be open in April 24. Similarly, admit card release date, it will be third week of April. Neat exam date, it's going to be May 24, the first week, I mean, sorry, the first Sunday, which comes in the month of May 24, right? So this is the tentative exam, neat exam date, my dear students. And you know, the result, if the exam happens on the first Sunday of May 24, the result will be declared in the last week of June. These are the tentative dates, my dear students, which every one of you should remember. You should not skip any single thing out of these things. Yeah? Perfect. What are the documents required for the, in order to, I mean, apply for the NEET examination? My dear students, for the Indian nationals, you should have Aadhaar card. I believe everyone will be having Aadhaar card and domicile certificate as well. Similarly, for NRIs, it is passport number and Aadhaar number. So they should have the passport and Aadhaar card and OCIs and PIOs, they should just have the passport number that is more than sufficient. So these are the documents which are required to apply for the NEET examination, for the NEET 2024 examination particularly, right? Moving on to the syllabus reduction. A lot of students are still asking about the syllabus. Well, you know, in your NCRT, from this year itself, there are few chapters which are de deleted basically from your chemistry, from your biology, and few topics from physics as well. Now, my dear students, there is no update for the syllabus reduction as far as the NEET 2024 examination is concerned. So your NEET 2024 syllabus remains unchanged as of now. It remains unchanged as of now, right? So whatever was the syllabus for the NEET 2023 examination, same is going to be the syllabus for NEET 2024 examination as well, right? In the upcoming years, maybe from NEET 2025, they might change the syllabus. And of course, they will do it because they have deleted some of the important chapters from NCRT. So they will have to, I mean, I remove those chapters from the NEET examination as well. But as far as this particular year is concerned, NEET 2024 is concerned, syllabus remains unchanged, right? So whatever syllabus was there in the NEET 2023 examination, same is going to be the syllabus which will be there in the NEET 2024 examination as well. So these were some important points which I wanted to share with you so that you remain updated about all the things related to the NEET examination, right? The documents required, the number of seats, the eligibility criteria, right? And if you are looking for the cutoff, my dear students, there is one general trend which has been seen from past couple of years, from past, uh, from past five to six years, I would say, right? For example, if this year the cutoff was, let's say if they, this year the cutoff is, let's say 595, the next year 
it's going to be plus minus 10 marks. This is the maximum. This is the maximum which happens, right? Okay, so cutoff can be maximum 10 marks more than 595 or maximum 10 marks less than 595 depending on the level of the difficulty of the examination. Perfect. So this has been the general trend which has been seen from past couple of years, my dear students. So 10 marks up or 10 marks down from the previous year's need cutoff, right? And this is going to happen this year also, my dear students. Perfect. So these were some quick updates which I wanted to share with you. And if you want such kind of videos, strategy videos, the academic videos, which we keep on doing all the time, for that, you need to subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet, right? So this was your chemistry educator, Vaseem Bhatt. It was nice catching up with all of you. With this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all, my dear students. Bye-bye.